you have basically uh, been with print most of your life? Uh, well, you I started my uh, career with uh, uh, television. I was with television uh, for a long time. I've done Where? a stint with Z and Aastak uh, later. And I made a transition from uh, uh, television to print at a time when a lot of print, senior print journals oh, were making the other way around. So, I mean, I obviously took a huge salary cut because after a point of time, it really, TV really became senseless for some of us. Why? Uh, because you couldn't do the kind of stories you would do. You know, TV as a medium uh, has always been shallow in some ways or the other. But, uh, you know, even if you manage... Do uh, you think print has depth? Uh, well, at least compared to television, you know, you, 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 even if you are able to go to Bastar and, and do that human resource intensive story, I think you're fine. Okay. But just the kind of things that you're telling me are very visual. Right. I would think they would make more compelling television stories or documentaries, long format, than they would print. But it's not uh, uh, possible all the time to uh, document uh, these things uh, on, uh, on, on camera. For example, this uh, uh, brief encounter I had on the Al Karama border, I couldn't have captured it on television. Not that one. Television. But, but yes, one. of course, one thing that happens is that uh, uh, my stint with television has at least, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trained in television journalism. So I at least think in terms of visuals. Right. So I think that's uh, something. What uh, do you think of 26 11 coverage by Indian television news? What about it? Uh, well, I think it was pathetic. Does that qualify as conflict reporting? Well, in some sort of. some ways, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, what do you yeah. think of if it? If you're if you're uh, if you're lying on the ground and bullets are fly flying around you, I think you're all right. But uh, you know, the real threat in a conflict area is really not from bullets. Huh. Uh, it's from it's it's from so many other factors. Like uh, you know, you're going to Bastar. Your biggest enemy. But if it's next to Taj, uh, then it's just <laughs> around the corner. You can have yeah, uh, you grab a Coca Cola and you'll and be then fine. You come yeah, back. yeah, burger. Okay. Yes. But you thought it was pathetic, the television reporters. Uh, well, it's, it's partially <laughs> the government's. Uh, uh, you, you know. Uh, weakness also, you know, in times of uh, in times like these, you don't really really uh, give television a free hand. You know, you have to establish certain norms. Uh, you you know, the television coverage ended up uh, helping uh, the terrorists who were holed up inside because okay. they were getting the same visuals uh, sure, that everybody uh, you, else you, you, was. Yeah. yeah. So you know, it's horrible. <coughs> okay. Um, I read the Open Magazine fairly reg regularly, and I don't know whether he, it's fair for me to ask you this question because yeah, Manu Joseph and um, Hartosh Singh are also right. They're my colleagues here. Yeah. I find that A, they're always very angry. Okay. The pieces. Oh. <coughs> they come which from a position of which, which is good, is good but yeah. yeah. And two, they're like someone, they'll always go the other way. When, when everyone was saying Anna, Anna, you're saying Bah, Anna. And when you're saying Bah, Anna, then you're saying no, Anna did the right thing by flogging them because it was effective. Is there a conscious thing of I, I don't going know. against I don't, the I don't think there's a conscious... Do you read that piece? Uh, which one? Basically, when this Anna was supposed to have said, which was completely um, wrongly reported by most people as is normal, that people who drink should be flogged. There's a difference of people who drink should be flogged. And I flogged some men who were getting drunk and beating their wives 22 years ago. The two are different, but most people chose not to see that. Yeah. However, the only magazine that carried a piece that what Anna did made logical sense because it was effective. But you don't expect a Gandhian to say that, is it? Yeah, exactly. No, what I'm even, saying is that when everybody else was trashing Anna for uh, that, yeah. Open appreciated Anna for that. I don't, think it's, a, I don't think it's a conscious decision. Uh, to go against a, the yeah, parents? against the tide. It just happens. <laughs> and you know, these are editorial decisions which are taken by my superiors, including Hartosh. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not really in the loop, you know, in the editorial loop. I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a single man entity, you know. I'm fairly uh, independent that way. I mean, I report to my superiors, but uh, you know, I, uh, I'm restricted to. Uh, Do you think you'll ever go back to television? Television, no, not Why at not? all. Why not? Oh well, it's uh, like I said, it's. Uh, you look down on it? Uh, not at all. I mean, uh, some of. You look at it disdain. Come on, you do. I can oh, see it in no, your no, face. No, 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 not all of them. Not, not all of them. No, but it's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a overall thing. But uh, you know, some of my friends in television. Huh. Uh, we have a friend. Uh, yeah, we have. Her. She's. Exactly. I mean, she's done a fabulous. I think she's fantastic. She's, she's a fantastic. journalist. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's, she's a very good journalist. So, so there are some journalists who are doing some really good work. But uh, I mean, personally speaking, I couldn't. That's not be a, uh, the nature of work that you enjoy doing in conflict zones. Yeah, it's, it's, it's. I don't think it's possible. Uh,